Good afternoon, my name is Ben Wright, and today I will be talking on some of the things that NASA should have done differently, um, the engineers, and what we can learn from the Space Shuttle Challenger crash back in 1986. Um, so first off, NASA should have listened to their engineers when they started voicing their opinions about all the problems that were going on. Um, often managers... Um, often managers have engineering experience, but are not as up to date on the engineering practices as the actual engineers inside the system. So therefore the managers should not ignore the engineers like they did in this case, listen to their opinions and really, um, implement their opinions into the plans. Um, both the engineers and the ice inspection team said to delay the flight. Um, but the man, but the managers being so pressed to um, to execute the flight did not listen and ended up turning into a crash. Um, when the upper level of NASA heard about the problems of the booster design, um, they didn't halt the program until the problem was solved. They just continued and often and resolved into the big problem of the crash. Um, and then Ro Roger Boys Jolly, which was an engineer, um, what he did wrong was he knew that there was a problem. Um, he did, he voiced his opinion, but it was ignored. And at that point, he should have, um, obeyed his duty to protect the public welfare, um, to, and voice his opinion and inform the public of the problem. Maybe if he would have done that then NASA would have delayed the launch and it would have, um, um, and the crash would never have happened. Um, and then as for the future engineering professionals, for their um, duty to protect the public welfare and also balance it with loyal to management, when the engineers accept admission into an engineering college, they are urged by the ASME Code of Ethics to hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public in performance of their professional duties. So when in a tussle between loyalty to management and protecting the public welfare, um, it is their duty to inform the public so that they can be safe even if they are going against the management of the company that they are working for. Nice. Thank you.